You've heard the hype, the internet of things, smart homes, connected devices. And if you were hoping it was a phase that would pass, bad news, this thing's happening. So we're running down the very basics of smartening up your home. First things first, you need a network to connect all that newfangled smart stuff. Because a smart coffee maker without a network is just a dumb coffee maker that you paid more for. There are two basic kinds of home networks. The first you probably already have, your home Wi-Fi. When you use that handy router signal to connect your smart devices, it can be a bit slower and comes with more security risks because by its nature, a web connected network can be hacked from anywhere in the world. So if you want, you can ditch the Wi-Fi and use a home network that uses a local radio frequency, sort of like an in-home Bluetooth network. The dominant home network providers are Zigbee and Z-Wave. Imagine a world where your home is in your hand. If you choose one of these, every smart device you buy needs to be Zigbee or Z-Wave compatible. Down the road, that could start to feel like you're trapped in a brand's closed ecosystem, but for now, they're partnered with a ton of products, so no sweat. Okay, now that you have a network that all of your devices can connect to, you need a hub to be the single point of contact with all your connected devices, so you're not dealing with dozens of individual apps. Plus, as these devices get even smarter, that single shared platform will allow your devices to interact directly with each other. Google Nest's Mark Spates has an example using Google's Nest Hub. If you have a Nest camera and you want to monitor your baby, it now gives this unique ability to do a video call with grandma so grandma can see the baby as well because it offers duo video calling. So Nest camera alone, you can monitor your sleeping baby on your smartphone. Nest camera paired with a Nest Hub using Google Duo and you can let grandma peek in on the baby from Poughkeepsie. The use case around parenting you can see starts to extend as these devices start to work together. There are upstarts, but Google's Nest Hub and Amazon's Alexa are the two giants in the home hub space, and they play well with others. No company makes everything. So we're integrated with thousands of other devices, from refrigerators to stoves to lights, plugs, switches, robot vacuums. Pair each smart device with your hub. You simply go into the Google Home app, and you'll find the device that you're trying to link. And from there, you can control them through voice as well as through the Google Home app. Finally, a smart home is only as secure as its least secure device, so prioritize your privacy. It's important that you set these devices up with a very strong password, and that password should be unique. You shouldn't use it across multiple accounts if possible. And don't get complacent. You should change it occasionally. Then at Google, we have a great tool for that. At passwords.google.com, or if you're not in the Google world, check out password management sites such as LastPass. Setting up a smarter smart home is at the top of the list.